Hey guys, Kristen here. Business is Create My Weight, and we're here for Top Picks Tuesday. I started doing this a couple weeks ago, where every Tuesday I feature my top 10 picks from a, a regular store. I get lots of questions about stores like Target, um, Trader Joe's, Costco, all of these places where people do a lot of their shopping um, in terms of best health food supplements um, to buy at those stores. So each Tuesday I'll be talking about one particular store. And this week my inspiration was to do the Vitamin Shop. And I picked Vitamin Shop for a couple of reasons. Um, I want you all to know that I am in no way affiliated with Vitamin Shop. Um, I just live close to one and I know it's a national chain a lot of people go to for vitamins and supplements um, and I thought I would just share some of my favorites. I was actually in there about last week and I guarantee you every time I go in there I see people that are overwhelmed and a little bit frazzled in terms of what to get. What Vitamin Dot Shop does so well is they have tons of options, lots of natural remedies. Um, skincare, beauty, um, you know, protein powders, other kind of stuff. There's tons of selection. Um, it can be very, very overwhelming for the average consumer. And so I'm here to kind of shed some light on what supplements you actually do need that really help all kinds of people, not just people with certain deficiencies. Um, and so what would be great for you? And also, I want to kind of weed out some of the things that you absolutely don't need, which I'll get to towards the end of this video. But I'm going to begin the video today with my top 10 picks. These are things that I consume on my daily basis. Basis. Some things I'm um, a little less regular than others. And at the end, I'll kind of shed some light on things I didn't include and why. All right? So the first thing I'm going to include, and I actually organize these from most important to kind of important, okay, in terms of what you, the consumer, should actually use. So the very first one I recommend to all of my nutrition clients is a multivitamin, a really good multivitamin. And as much, you know, as we eat more fruits and vegetables and quality foods these days, the food supply is just in no way the same as it was 50 years ago. Our soils are really depleted. Um, they're overgrown. Um, and so we're not getting a lot of the nutrients that we did a long time ago, even if we're eating organic foods. So a good multivitamin is always great. And people like me, believe it or not, I really don't like taking a lot of pills. I find it very time consuming, um, and kind of annoying and kind of like a job. Um, so I don't like taking a lot of pills and a lot of people I've worked with are also in the same boat. So I always recommend getting a good multivitamin. And the truth is there are a lot of really crappy multivitamins out there that are full of really awful fillers um, and things that we don't need in our body like you know rice flour, soy, corn, um, even sometimes like wheat. There's all these things that in the vitamins that we don't need um, and they have these fillers. So I always go for a plant-based vitamin. This is actually one of my favorite vitamins. Garden of Life is a company that's based actually down here in Palm Beach, Florida. Um, and I love their products. And I do love the taste of the women's multi-gummy. Um, I take four of these a day. That's the serving size. Um, and typically what I do is I take two in the morning and two in the afternoon. Um, and why I like this is because it has a little bit of sweetness. And I have such a sweet tooth. But at least I'm eating like, you know, real sugar here um, in terms of fruits and vegetables. And plant-based is always the way to go. Less synthetics um, in our system. And if you're thinking, well, I want no sugar in my diet. Or if you're following a ketogenic diet, um, or if you're diabetic, something like that, where you're really trying to limit your sugar, um, you could do another variety. This is actually one that my husband takes. It's called the vitamin code for men. There's one for women. Um, but what I like about this one here is that it actually has digestive enzymes in it. There's also a prebiotic in here as well, non-GMO, organic, um, and it's also gluten-free. So these are two of my absolute favorites. You can get both of these at the vitamin shop. Um, and in case I didn't say this before, if you don't live near a vitamin shop, you can always go online and purchase through there. Um, I have found that their prices are really comparable to Amazon, um, and they also have lots of good deals. If I'm a rewards member, so I get lots of rewards there. Um, but these are two you can also get on Amazon too if you want to get them from there. All right, so that's the multivitamin number one. Definitely something I recommend. Even if you think you eat healthy, um, a multivitamin will not do you any harm. It will only do your body good. All right. Second one is going to be a pro probiotic. All right. So I get lots of questions about probiotics, um, and there's two different things you want to know. So probiotics are really what is the good gut bacteria in your gut. Okay. So when you take a probiotic, you're putting more good bacteria into your gut. Prebiotic is what feeds the good gut bacteria, okay? So a good prebiotic is inulin. Inulin is a powder um, that you can buy in the store or it's something that we find in foods naturally, okay? Like we find it in tapioca. Um, we find it in um, spirit. It's another good form of it. Um, so it does come naturally in foods. It's also in resistant starches, um, but you can also 
get it with, uh, with your probiotics. So one reason why I love this particular probiotic um, is because it actually has BC30. Okay, BC30 is a patented probiotic, and it's the only known probiotic that can actually withstand the stomach acid, okay, as it goes into your digestive system. So this is a really good one. A lot of the probiotics out there, they even make it to your gut because they're destroyed by acid in your body, right? So this is actually a really good one here. Um, Solari is a brand that I particularly like. Um, I like that they don't have a lot of fillers in here at all. And what I love about this particular probiotic, it's the BC30, Bacillus coagulans. Um, it also has prebiotic in it. If you look in the back, okay, it has um, prebiotic. So it's a good one here, all right? Third important supplement that every person, okay, man or woman, everyone should take is vitamin D, all right? 80% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D, especially women, all right? And I live here in South Florida, and I have been deficient in vitamin D, and I usually get up about four hours of sun a week, I would say. So it's very, very common, especially um, if you're not consuming dairy, okay? Dairy is one of the foods that is vitamin D fortified, um, and so if you're not consuming dairy, um, a lot of foods actually don't have vitamin D in them. The only sources of food that are naturally full of vitamin D are like fatty fish, eggs, um, milk. And so if you're not, if you're, um, you know, vegan or if you're avoiding dairy or if you're allergic to eggs, fish, um, then you are not consuming a lot of vitamin D. All right. So, so vitamin D is really, really important. Vitamin D almost acts like a hormone in your body. So it's more than just a vitamin. It actually helps with hormone deficiencies. So if you're deficient in a hormone, oftentimes um, the vitamin D can help balance hormones. Um, and so you definitely want to make sure you're, you're good on your vitamin D. Um, also, what's good about vitamin D is that you get it from the sun, right? One hour of sun is about 20,000 units of vitamin D. Um, but we can definitely use a lot more than that. The average um, recommendation is about five to 10,000 units. Um, and there's been like a lot of talk about vitamin D toxicity and, you know, we shouldn't take too much vitamin D. But if you ask any doctor out there, and I've asked a couple, um, there are very few, if any, cases of vitamin D toxicity. So you really can't get too much vitamin D is my answer to that. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, I take vitamin D. Um, okay, I take about 10,000 units a day. Um, and also, if you're someone that is um, prone to you know, injury or if you're healing like a broken ankle, like my sister is right now, vitamin D is really important for bone health as well. Um, so that's something also important to think about. So vitamin D is key. It's my number three supplement here. Um, and I love this brand, Solari. Um, actually, they were having a deal. It was like buy one, get one half off. So really good um, brand there. The thing about vitamin D too is if you are overweight, you are most likely deficient in vitamin D, okay? So if, um, the reason for that is that vitamin D is fat soluble. And if it's fat soluble, that means that if you're overweight, it's storing in your fat and it's not readily available by your bloodstream to get into your body. So especially if you're overweight, vitamin D is important to take. If you have darker skin, it's also important to take vitamin D because darker skin people do not produce as much vitamin D as fair skin people, believe it or not. So vitamin D is important for all of us to take. All right, number four is going to be magnesium. All right, magnesium citrate here. Um, magnesium is also important for bone health, just like vitamin D. And a lot of people think about calcium when it comes to you know bone health, um, fighting osteoporosis. Um, but if you're not taking, oh sorry, magnesium. Um, if you're not taking, you don't have enough magnesium in your body, you're not absorbing calcium properly, right? And so you definitely need magnesium. 75% of women, for example, are deficient in, in magnesium. Um, so magnesium is definitely important to take. Magnesium also plays a really important role um, in metabolizing carbohydrates and glucose. Um, so it's important for, um, for us to take that for consuming that. Um, if you work out a lot, you definitely get depleted of magnesium pretty quickly. It's really important for muscle recovery. Um, I notice sometimes if I'm ever feeling really achy or sore, I'll always increase my intake of magnesium or I definitely make sure I take it and it usually helps me. Um, for women, if you are having cramps, this is a great, great supplement for um, PMS symptoms. Um, it's important for, like I said, bone health, heart health, is important for. Um, and here's the thing, we can get magnesium in lots of our foods. So like leafy greens are full of magnesium, but magnesium is also in a lot of grains. And I know several people that I have followed this ketogenic or low carb diet. Um, and so if you've cut out grains, you're cutting out a lot of magnesium sources. So it's definitely important to supplement with magnesium. 
Also, I mentioned earlier about multivitamins, and sometimes people say to me, well, if I'm taking multivitamin, aren't I getting my magnesium, my vitamin D, um, and all these other things I'm going to talk about? And the answer is maybe, but probably not. For example, I was saying earlier how women are about 75% 75 of women are deficient in vitamin D. In, in magnesium, all right? You would think that a women's multivitamin would have more magnesium in it, but this one, for example, has you know 10%, right? So that's pretty low. A multivitamin can't do everything, okay? And if it claims to do everything, it's probably not a very good one. Um, so make sure that you know you don't just rely on the multivitamin if you're noticed, if your blood works as you're deficient in something, um, if you're noticing you're super achy, like if I get really sore from a workout, um, I'll definitely increase my magnesium intake. All right, next one, this is number five, and this is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatories on the market, um, and I love fish oil, I love, you know, that, that's great, um, flax is another good one, but this one I'm going to talk about because a lot of people don't really understand um, about curcumin, and that's a really, really important anti-inflammatory. It also has tons of anti-cancer properties, um, and this is also for my vegan, vegetarian um, fans out there that don't take, you know, fish oil, um, so I love love curcumin. For those of you who don't know what curcumin is, turmeric or turmeric is more well known, okay, as being anti-inflammatory. But what gives turmeric its power, okay, in that orange color is the curcumin, right? And the unfortunate part about curcumin, that's where all of the nutrients is. It comes from the ginger family um, and all of the, you know, antioxidants and fights free radicals in the body. It improves immunity. Um, it helps with your bone heart, heart health, liver health, brain function. All of the tremendous benefits, not to mention it's an anti-inflammatory, if not one of the strongest ones in the market, um, curcumin. However, most turmeric um, supplements out there have very little, if any, curcumin in them, okay? And also, curcumin does not get readily absorbed by the blood. So it has to come with another um, way for it to go into the bloodstream. So this particular one I love, and I got this at Vitamin Shop, okay? And what I'm gonna do for you guys is, I know you probably can't see this as well, I'm gonna take pictures of these and post them on my story, okay, on Facebook and on Instagram, so you'll see all the products that I picked here. This particular one I love because one of the first ingredients is it is medium chain triglycerides, MTT, oils. All of my keto fans out there know that MCTs are the bomb. Um, they're one of the best readily absorbed energy sources for the body, especially if you're ketosis. Um, so this is absorbed by the bloodstream um, and into the body through MCT. Um, there's also turmeric oil in here as well. So this actually has several ways in which is absorbed better by the body. So one pill, okay, so one of these pills is actually pretty big. It's like that big. It's equivalent to taking 500 turmeric pills. Okay. So those of you who are taking, you know, or drinking turmeric lattes or you're drinking um, turmeric tea, I do that at night sometimes, that's a very small amount of turmeric. Or if you cook with a lot of turmeric, okay, that's not being readily absorbed by the body. Not to say that that's not beneficial to you, it's not going to hurt you, but if you're really looking for the anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, um, all those properties of uh, curcumin, which is in turmeric, you're better off getting the pure curcumin. Um, and I will say this is a supplement that's not cheap, okay? So if it is cheap, it means it's not going to be a good one. You can get other supplements relatively inexpensive as long as they're not full of fillers, um, and you'll have to read the ingredients for that. Um, but this one is great because of the absorption factor, okay, in the curcumin. All right, the next um, item I have here that I get from Vitamin Shop is actually natural deodorant. And so what I love about Vitamin Shop is they have an awesome skincare, hair, um, you know, beauty area um, with lots of natural products. And the natural deodorants have really been all the rage this year. And you're going to see that deodorants are going all in the natural line. And the reason why that is is because we're finding that there's lots of chemicals in these um, deodorants, aluminum, one included, um, that actually has some links to Alzheimer's um, and impaired brain function. And so the natural deodorants are free of aluminum and other toxins um, that we find in, in other skincare products. And so one of the reasons why natural deodorant is so important is that it actually allows us to sweat. And when we sweat, we're detoxing. And with everyone talking about detox these days and doing all kinds of cleanses so they can detox, they don't realize that we're putting all these other toxins into our body, like deodorant and skincare and you know our diet too, 
um, that we're just continuing to toxify ourselves. So a three-day detox or a, a two-week detox is not going to undo necessarily years and continually putting toxins into our body, okay? And so the natural deodorant is definitely one way in which we can allow our body to naturally detox through sweating, okay? And so I know, guys, I work out probably five days a week. It's hot in South Florida. Like, I've tried so many natural deodorants, and a lot of them are really terrible. But I will say this particular one, this is called Schmitz. Um, and I like this scent too, it's rose vanilla. For all those guys out there, they do have gender neutral scents as well. This one works. I work out, I worked out this morning with it. You know, I was outside running, I worked out for about an hour and um, source too, but they do have it at vitamin shop. Um, so I highly recommend this natural deodorant. For me to, uh, you know, to endorse a natural deodorant means a lot. I've tried so many and this is my favorite by far at vitamin shop. All right. Next supplement that I get tons of questions on is the digestive enzyme. And so I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't really take this very often, okay? As many vegetables as I eat, I really don't take an enzyme on a daily basis. And the reason for that is our body naturally produces digestive enzymes in three places, our mouth, our stomach, and our pancreas, all right? And so if we're letting our body do its magic, you will naturally be able to break down foods, all right? But one of the reasons why we don't break down these foods, okay, is because we're eating too fast. And if we're eating too fast, okay, the saliva in our mouth is not able to produce the enzyme quickly enough to help it digest through our body, right? So that's actually one thing that I usually have to work on is slowing down my eating so I can actually digest my food. So my stomach's not like out of here after the end of the meal, all right? But I do take an enzyme from time to time, especially when I'm eating cruciferous vegetables. Like I love broccoli, I love cauliflower, I love Brussels sprouts, but if I eat a lot of them, which I tend to do, um, I do like a little bit of assistance. So I just take this um, digestive enzyme right here, um, have a vitamin shop, enzyme medica, um, digestive basic. You can get this anywhere online. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. It has all of the digestive enzymes you need. Um, and when it comes to an enzyme, don't worry about how strong it is. Like you'll see like aisles in like a vitamin shop or any you know supplement store with tons of enzymes and they can range from super cheap, like this one I think was like $11 to like 30 or $40. There's no reason to spend 30 or $40 on an enzyme, okay? Unless it's going to like, I don't know, it's probably gonna ruin your stomach to be honest, but this is definitely a good one. Um, if you are more concerned about you know vegetables, if you're really sensitive um, to those cruciferous vegetables, like I mentioned, especially if you like raw foods um, that are definitely harsher on the digestive system, um, even like a beano, a beano that's super cheap, that's like five bucks, you can get that anywhere, um, that has the amylase in there, which is really helpful for breaking down um, the vegetables as well. Okay. Um, but this is a good one here. It has all the different enzymes you need. It has like the protease for protein, the amylase for carbohydrates um, and beans, those things, um, and then like lactase for dairy. And so it has really all the digestive enzymes you need. Don't get caught up in the marketing of strongest enzymes. They're really all the same. Okay, pretty basic. But like I said, you just slow down your eating to you. If you're looking for more digestive help, okay, in terms of like cleaning up the colon, I'm a huge fan of triphala. Triphala is an all natural, it's an Indian herb actually. It's been used for thousands of years. Um, I like doing this when I'm trying to do a little bit of intermittent fasting. Um, this definitely helps cleansing up the body and it's an all natural supplement. So digestive enzymes will help with the digestive portion. This helps with the cleansing, okay? All right, next up. This is a big one in the weightlifting world, I'm sure. And as we hear more about gut health and leaky gut and repairing the gut wall, I'm sure you've heard of glutamine. Okay, all glutamine is an amino acid. Your body does produce this naturally. Um, we do find this in a lot of foods as well, especially animal proteins. Um, it's found in bone broth too, and that's where like the bone broth has become really popular. So glutamine is definitely helpful for rebuilding the gut wall. And there's an estimation now that 90% of Americans have some version of leaky gut. Um, and I could do a whole video here on leaky gut, but leaky gut is something where like a lot of you know, poor diet choices are in the environment have pretty much caused little holes to, to 
grow in our gut, and then we get toxins into our gut, and it causes all kinds of chronic illnesses. Okay, um, so it's thought that you know diabetes um, and a lot of autoimmune diseases are all caused from leaky gut. All right, so glutamine can totally help with that. Um, glutamine is also really helpful with muscle recovery. So you do find this in a lot of you know um, protein powders, um, protein bars. Um, so it does help with that. Um, you want to take it like 30, 45 minutes after a workout or in between meals is a great time to take glutamine. Like I said, this is not something you have to take all the time unless you know you have an issue with your gut um, or if you're lifting tons of weights all the time. Um, but it's not necessary. I just take it once in a while, especially when I'm feeling sore. If I have aches and pains, I'll take glutamine to help with that. All right. So. Next one is something I've talked about before. Um, this is, a, I call this a sleeper herb because it definitely helps with sleep, but it's actually one of the only stress reducers medically proven to reduce stress, anxiety, and even some forms of depression, and that's called Relora, okay? Relora is, like I said, an all-natural supplement. It's been medically proven to do things I just mentioned, um, and it does help you relax. When you think of relora, think of relax. So I like to take this at night sometimes to help me unwind. Kind of has like the same effects as maybe like half a glass of wine. Um, if you take about two of these, um, you can also take it in the morning. You can take this midday also. If I know that if I'm thinking about something, if I'm stressed, I tend to eat. And so sometimes you'll see on relora bottles. Um, helps with weight management and that's only if you're like a stress eater. Um, what this is also known to do is that you take it at nighttime, it's known to help reduce high levels of cortisol if you take it consistently for two weeks. So that is one of the benefits of Relora. So if you're doing a lot of high intensity workouts, you're kind of, you're increasing that cortisol pretty regularly. My Orange Theory people, great example of that. If you're doing a lot of cardio um, as well or high like hit training, like I said. Um, so Relora is definitely a great um, supplement for you. All right. Now, my last supplement, it's not really a supplement, but I couldn't go to Vitamin Shop and I couldn't do this video unless I talked about one of their snacks. Um, and if you know me and if you've worked with me before, you know that I really don't like packaged products. I'm always advocating for whole foods as much as possible. But even me, I'm on the go constantly. I'm looking for quick, healthy snacks. Um, and so there is one protein bar at Vitamin Shop that I do eat regularly, um, regular meaning like a couple days a week. Um, and I'm a big chocolate fan, so I always get chocolate. Um, and this is the Boo Fit bar. Okay, Boo Fit um, is a great, um, like mostly natural. Um, actually, this is all natural, I should say. Um, protein bar. This particular flavor is my favorite in terms of the macros. So it is paleo friendly. It's egg white protein. Um, flavors double dark chocolate chip, non-GMO. It is 180 calories for 15 grams of protein. 10 grams of fiber, which is awesome, and one gram of sugar. So those of you who are counting your carbs, that's only four grams of net carbs right there. Um, but why I love this protein bar, um, the texture is good, it's not chewy, um, which is also helpful, um, but there are really clean ingredients in here. Okay, so egg white protein, so you don't have to worry about the way um, if you're that or it doesn't sit well with you. Um, it is cute. This is actually keto friendly as well. The only the sweetener that they use is monk fruit, which is an all natural sweetener, which is fantastic. Um, it uses sustainable palm oil. So in case you haven't heard, palm oil is something we see in a lot of foods these days. And palm oil is terrible, or getting palm oil is terrible for the environment. Um, but this is a sustainable source. Um, and even some of their other bars use red palm oil, which is way better for your health anyway. Um, so I do like that about this company. Um, the sodium in here is a little bit higher than other protein bars in the market, but me personally, I'm not super concerned about sodium. I think in our society, we've become so scared of sodium. And there's actually a lot of research that shows that low sodium um, can also increase thyroid issues. And also, sodium does help reduce carb cravings. So those of you who are, you know, low carbing it these days, or you're doing well with the ketogenic diet, um, you know, sodium is definitely your friend. Good quality sodium. And this sodium is not super high, about 200 milligrams. Um, but like I said, I really don't eat these frequently, maybe two times a week at max. Um, and I'm a big chocolate fan, so this gives me that chocolate um, quick fix right there. All right. 
So you're probably thinking, well, you didn't talk about, you know, what about the B vitamins? I get that question a lot, or fish oil. Um, and I'm the kind of person that I do my shopping at different places. Um, I actually don't get my, my fish oil or B vitamins here. I go to Costco and get that. And I'll be talking about Costco next Tuesday, so make sure you come up next week for that. Um, but also protein powders. So if you know me, you know that I don't really advocate for protein powders. Um, I do have a bag of protein in my cabinet right now. I probably pull it out once a month. That might be a lot for me um, to make like a baked good of some sort, um, but I really don't mess with protein. And I do believe that in our society, we do consume a lot of protein we don't need, um, especially because if you consume too much protein, you don't extend it or you don't need it, it gets metabolized to sugar, all right? And that actually too much protein can increase your sugar cravings. So I'm not big on protein powders, especially because a lot of the protein powders that you do see in a lot of the stores, they're full of added fillers, artificial sweeteners, and other chemicals that are not good for you. Um, so I really do shy away from a lot of the protein powders. I'm going to do a whole other video on protein powders, the ones that I do recommend um, when I do consume protein powder, and I'll do that another time. All right, um, definitely do not talk about fat burners or pre-workouts. I don't mess with any of those. Um, I'm an espresso girl, I'm Italian in Puerto Rican. I love my coffee. Um, so coffee is plenty of caffeine to fuel my workouts for me. Um, and I have tried a couple of um, pre-workouts. I have not done well with them. I get way too jittery. So I don't mess with those. Fat burners I think are a, definitely a waste of money. Um, you know, some people say they work for them. Um, I, I haven't had any success with them. I, and like I said, I really believe in just the all natural route. Um, amino acids, I get lots of questions about that. Some people really like putting aminos in their water, helping with muscle recovery. They do feel a, a difference in their body. And if you are enjoying something, if you feel positive you know, benefits to your body, go ahead. Um, but aminos, I, I don't really do very much. Like I said, if I'm feeling achy or sore, I'm going to go for my magnesium or I'm going to, you know, take my, my, my curcumin. That helps me with aches and pains right there. I prefer that over um, a lot of the chemicals in these um, amino acid powders. If you do like the taste of aminos, though, because sometimes I do want like a fruity um, taste in my water while I'm working out. It's refreshing. There is a powder at Vitamin Shop. They don't have it in stores anymore, but they do have it online. What I'll do today is I'll type it in the comments area. Um, it's called Sport Oxalate, um, and that's one of my favorite powders that I will from time to time purchase and put in my water just because it does have lots of um, vitamins and minerals in it. There are some amino acids in there as well, and it uses natural sweeteners and not all these chemicals. Um, it's a little expensive, but a lot of amino acids now in the market are pretty pricey. Um, so I will go ahead and type that into the comments box for you guys. Um, but I just wanted to mention that to you guys. I don't really do a lot of the, the artificial stuff out there. I think it's just going to make you know really expensive pee, as I call it. It doesn't really do much for your body. Um, one thing I do want to say about supplements, guys. So I did talk about my top 10 picks from Vitamin Shop. And I will say that these are all fine and dandy. You know, if you're eating a clean, healthy diet, you will not see any benefits or improvements in your life by taking these things if you're not eating a clean diet. So for example, we can take all the anti-inflammatories, okay, curcumin, fish oil, flax oil, um, you know, coconut oil can be anti-inflammatory, whatever. You can take all these anti-inflammatories, but if you're consuming, you know, conventional dairy, um, um, gluten, all these things that are anti, that are inflammatory, okay, alcohol, well, um, our environment is so, you know, full of inflammatories, you're not going to see a benefit from this. So please don't buy these things and continue to eat an unhealthy diet because this will be a tremendous waste of money to you. I'm not saying that to be mean, I'm just being brutally honest. Um, and that's something that I would like to tell everyone before they walk into a vitamin shop or any kind of vitamin store, okay? And the healthy diet is number one most important. This is called, called a supplement for a reason, okay? Now, let me tell you this. If you're looking to improve your diet, okay, you're like, okay, well, how do I improve my diet? Um, I can definitely help you with that. If you want to know what to eat in order to improve your health and if you want to shed those extra pounds, because so I will tell you guys, the more toxins you have in your body, the harder it is to lose weight. That is 100% guaranteed. You cannot lose weight well and keep it off unless you clean out your system, 100%. Okay, I've been doing this for a while. I know that for a fact. Um, 
So if you need help with that, head over to my website, createmyweight.com slash schedule. I'd love to talk to you about, you know, what you've gone through, you know, what you're trying to accomplish and see how I can help you with that. Okay. I want to hear your story. I do not believe in a one size fits all plan. Everyone I've worked with is completely different. Um, I really work with people to create a lifestyle um, through diet and exercise and, you know, supplements um, that will help them improve their health and shed those extra pounds. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be posting um, this on my feed later today and on YouTube channel as well. Um, in the comments, I'll type that website, createmyweight.com slash schedule, where you can schedule a 30 minute call with me and tell me all what you're looking to achieve and how I can help you. Have a great day next Tuesday, 1230, top 10 picks from